Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? She is impatient and curious. She doesn't want to sit and wait for future of senses. She wants to define it. Please give a warm welcome to Hannah Isaacson. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now we are going to dive into my world, the world of sensors. My name is Hannah, and I work with future innovations at Saab. When you're looking around in here, you can see that Saab works with sensors. Another thing that is evident is that Saab knows how to build a sensor. We have world-class products. Proof of that is just looking at the sensor releases for the past year. We have the Grip and Air platform with our electronic warfare system. And we have expanded our Giraffe um, family with the Giraffe 4A and the Giraffe 8A. And the latest contribution, the Global Eye. But not as evident is uh, not as evident is that we also have won an award, an award for being so inventive. The Aviation Week's Innovation Prize for our gallium nitride development, and this award is for me the most important because it visualizes why I choose to work at Saab. Because Saab is breaking the technology boundaries, so I get to do the same. Because everything that you see in here, all the products that you have, this is us winning the world championships. But you don't get to win a competition like the World Championships for free. An athlete has to train for years to even be in the competition. And it's the same for us. Behind all the products that we have lies an enormous amount of hard work. Within product development, when you functions, materials, components, and mechanics successfully developed and introduced into our products. But also within research. And within the research, we are continuously questioning the status quo so that we can find these new technologies that might define a future sensor. And this is the part that I love, the research. The research is the start. And I get to be part of the start, part of defining our future sensors in maybe 10, 20, or even 50 years. And you know, since I'm not that old, I'm quite young yet, I might even be here to see the result of the work that I'm starting today. And what an interesting future it is. I know that I can sound a little bit like a nerd, and I can talk about this subject for hours. But the future of sensor research is really interesting right now. Because the computers are getting stronger by the minute. And with that, you, you can handle so much more information. Combining this with multi-channel, where you collect the information from each single element, you get a digitalized and software-defined sensor. And this really opens doors for us. One aspect is upgradability, functions which before needed a complete change in the hardware can now be changed in a second within an upgrade in the firmware. 
An example of this would be like, I could go out on the internet and download bigger muscles. Instead of going to the gym for maybe six months. Another aspect is multi-channel. Sensors can now just don't just need to handle one task. They can handle multiple tasks simultaneously. On the other hand, if you look at it, where you before needed multiple sensors, you can now have just one. And the third aspect is adaptivity, where you, a sensor isn't constrained by its surrounding anymore. It will adapt and evolve as the surrounding changes. If we, for one more time, take me as an example, this would be like I, when it's dark outside, would get night vision. That's me adapting to my surroundings. But still, this is three very interesting developments that we know of. The most interesting is the unknown. When you look at sensors in completely new ways, and as I said before, we are constantly questioning the status quo, because we have this drive to be the first to find these new and really exciting technologies. And we know that the future starts today. And it starts with research today. And since we put so much effort into research and product development, we will meet the tasks of the future. We will have even stronger products in the future. And we will have even smarter products in the future. But mainly, since we put so much and we have this drive, and this drive who really appeals to me with my impatient and curious personality, as you had heard before. We have a drive not to sit and wait for the future to come, but to be the first to define the future. And therefore, we will always be breaking the barriers. Thank you very much.